In this video, you'll learn how to show your color variation on a shop page in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our store shop page. And as we scroll down, we can see that we're showing our colored swatch variation on a shop page along with the size um, variation also. So this increases the user experience so the user can just quickly select the color and the size in which they want and then just go ahead and add it to cart. So it's a much more user-friendly experience. So if you wanna create something similar to this, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download the WooCommerce Variation Swatches plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Here we are in our WooCommerce dashboard. The second step is to go ahead and upload a plugin in which you just downloaded. So we go plugins, add new, and then you just upload a plugin which you've just downloaded. You'll see this WooSuite menu here if you've installed the WooSuite core plugin. Otherwise, you'll see a variation swatches menu somewhere around here. So we head over to WooSuite and then we go ahead and select the, our variation swatches option here. Okay, so the third step is to go ahead and enable our color swatches. So here I've already got it enabled, but in your case, you'll just go ahead and switch this to on. And then here where it says select the attribute, then you wanna select the particular attribute in which you wanna show the color swatches to. So in my case, I've got an attribute called color, and then I've just selected here. You wanna go ahead and click this configure items. I'm gonna open this in a new tab because this is where we'll set the individual colors for our attribute term. So here we are, and this is my color attribute. And as you can see, I've got um, a few colors set up. So I've got brown and cream. In your case, this will be blank unless you've already set it up. So we just go ahead and click edit, and we wanna do this, repeat this step for each of them. So in our case, this is set to brown. So where it says color here, we just go ahead and select the appropriate color for this particular attribute term. And then once you've done so, just click update. And you, as I said, you just wanna do this for all your attribute term. Once you've done so, when you visit your product page, now you should be seeing the color swatches. So for example, if I go ahead and click on this particular product here, this variable product, here you can see our color attributes displaying perfectly fine as well. So in regards to our size attributes, so this is currently set as a label and I'll show you exactly how I've done this. So we head back over to our dashboard, the variation swatches option, and then we navigate down to where it says auto convert drop down to label. Go ahead and enable this option. And then again, where it says select attribute, you wanna select the attribute in which you wanna convert into a label option. In my case, I've selected size, and then that's it. That's all you need to do for this step. I'll go ahead and disable this. A few settings worth mentioning is if you scroll down here to where it says choose your swatch shape, you can choose from a circular swatch, a squared swatch, or a rounded swatch. I've selected a square here because it looks nice with our theme. And then other noteworthy option is we have the option to enable the tooltip. And then for the design, we can go ahead and customize the design so we can, so this is for more advanced users to get that perfect look. You might wanna customize the padding, the margin, etc., etc and also the swatch shape. So once you've enabled your color attributes and everything's all set up, then the last step is to navigate here to where it says archive slash shop. And then here where it says show swatches label, we'll go ahead and enable this option. So this is what will allow us to show our swatches on the shop page. So if we disable this option, then we won't see our swatches on the shop page. So we can disable the tooltip as well. So I'm gonna save this just to show you exactly how it will show up and then we'll enable it again just so you see the finished result. So if we navigate to our shop page here, so here we are on our shop page and the only option we've got is this button here where it says select options. And if we click on this, it will take us to the product page and then we'll have to select our options through the product page. So to create a much nicer user experience, we'll just head back over to our dashboard and enable the swatches on the shop page. Okay, so let's scroll down to where it says archive slash shop. And then we just go ahead and select this option here. We can show the clear link. So if you want the users to be able to clear their selection, you can go ahead and enable this here. For the swatch alignment, we can choose from left, center or right. I've set mine to left, it looks fine how it is. And then here where it says swatch position, we can show it before the title, after the title, before the add to cart and after the add to cart button. 
So I'm going to leave mine um, before the title. I think it looks great just like that. And then enable tooltip on a swatch page. I'm going to enable this option. For it says swatch limits, let's say for example, if you've got um, 15 um, different swatches right per product, then it might look a bit messy to display all 15 swatches for each individual product. So in this case, we might want to limit it to say for example, four. Right, and then once you've done so, there'll be a plus button for the users to click the plus icon and then they'll be able to see the other options on the product page. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this as it is. Let's go ahead and save changes and then let's head back over to our shop page and let's see the result. And there you can see our swatches are displaying perfectly as it should. So we've got our color swatch here. We can quickly select from the different options and just add to cart. And here's that clear button I was referring to. So if we click this option, then it will clear the selection. And that's how you show your color variation on your WooCommerce shop page in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.